Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be taking you through a home workout that you can do with no equipment and it's going to be targeting our lower body. So the first thing we want to do is get a little warm up going. So we're going to do some side leg swings, get the adductors and abductors to all fired up. And we're going to do the side swings alongside the front and back swings. Also get the hip extenders, hip flexors all loosened up. You can grab onto something if you need to for extra support, but we're just going to go through and do do 10, 15 reps of each the side and the forward and back leg swings. This is important just to get everything loosened up in our hips before we go through some exercises that are going to require a bit more mobility. So just like that, you'll feel a stretch in the hamstrings if you're tight there like myself. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go through those front and back leg swings and then add in some side leg swings as well just to get things all loosened up. Just like that. Whew. And the next little warm up we're going to do is a good morning. We're just going to put our hands on the back of the head. You can also do the waiter's bow where you slide your hands down and we're going through what's the position of the Romanian deadlift. So you can either do it this way or with the hands. Personally, I prefer just having my hands low. You want to keep the back straight as possible. Relying on your glutes to do this exercise. You'll feel a stretch to the hamstrings. We'll go for 10 to 15 again with this. And with any of these stretches, if you're really tight, do it for a little longer. Give yourself a nice stretch in. You'll thank yourself later. Just like that. Let's go for one more. Nice, all right. Now the next exercise we're going to do is an actual exercise, but it's also a nice warm up too. So we're going to be doing forward stepping lunges. Now the reason that a lunge is a mobility exercise is going to help loosen up your hip flexors. So the muscles right here. So to do the lunge, we're just going to step forward, find our footing, create a 90 degree angle in the knees, and then step back. Take a deep breath in, keep the core tight, and step back. Just like that. Now a little trick you can do is you can bring the, whatever leg stays back, you can bring that arm up just like I'm doing here. That'll allow you to get a little bit better balance when you're going through this exercise. And just like that. It is a bit tricky, so if your balance isn't there, you can start with just a stationary lunge in place like this. Or you can use support too, because this is a bit of a challenging exercise. But the reason I picked it is we're next going to go into a very deep lunge position and get a little stretch on. And that'll conclude our warm up. So just going through, stretching out the hamstrings as so. And you'll feel a little bit in the, in the or stretching the hip flexors alongside the hamstrings, but also the hip adductors, adductors. So. Deep lunge stretch, one of my favorites. I like doing it after some lunge exercise just to get the blood flowed into the muscle, which will give you a better stretch. And just like that. Whew. All right, so after those, we're just gonna do a couple hip openers just to loosen up. Yeah, just like that. And then we're gonna go into doing some actual squats. So we wanna find our, our stance. It's gonna be different for everyone. I like to go around shoulder width roughly. Big toe, little toe and heel, gripped into the ground. Moving your knees away from the midline of your body, keeping your core nice and tight, breathing and embracing the abdominal muscles and going through the range of motion. We're gonna go for 12 to 15. There's two. Just think of it like you're sitting back into a chair. Now, if you can't, get into the squat position, that is all right. We can do squats into a couch or a chair. If you're comfortable with doing something considered like a box squat, just like that. But if not, we can also just do regular body weight squats, just like that. Whew. Really con good control on the way down and back up. Perfect. All right, after that is done, we're just gonna loosen up again. And this time, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. So, the reverse lunge is a little bit tricky. We're gonna start 
from the front this time, take a step backwards and get down into position and then come back forwards and down like that. And again, you can use that arm trick that I mentioned in the last one to keep your balance. And just like that. Breathing in, bracing that core, keeping it nice and tight. And we'll go for six to eight per leg. Again, depends entirely on your own cardiovascular and muscular endurance. Not everyone has the capabilities to be able to do these for a long time, and that is okay. Just a few more here. And there it is. Give yourself a little shake afterwards. Next exercise is gonna be a little bit easier this time. We're gonna be going into the glute bridge. Now this exercise, we're gonna lay down on the ground. Back press into the ground. And then breathe in, brace core, keep it nice and tight. We don't want our ribs to extend in this exercise. Lift up through the glute. And kind of push the knees away. Really squeezing the glutes there. And there's one, two, three, four, really squeeze the glutes, five, squeeze them on the whole way down, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, ten, you can five more, really squeeze. You can even attach a band above the knee to give you something to really extend it with. Just like that. And two more. And last one. There it is. Whew. That is quite a challenging exercise, if done correctly, with no weight. Now this does progress to the hip thrust, but the next exercise we're gonna do is a bit of a more challenging one since the last one wasn't too challenging. We're gonna go with the Bulgarian split squat. So you can use a couch or any other object you can to put your foot back there on. And this is all focusing on this front leg here. It's very similar to the lunges that we have been doing, but really focus on that front leg for support. And just like that. Two, we'll go for six to eight for each leg. Three, if this is a bit too advanced, you can go with a regular stationary lunge or a forward stepping lunge or a reverse lunge, really your choice. Let's go for one more here. Booyah, switch legs. There's one, two, Three, nice. Four, five, and one more here. Six, nice. All right, those are quite a challenging exercise. So don't feel bad if you can only get a couple reps. That is A-OK. -okay. You can do other versions of the lunge in replacement of that. Now the final exercise we're gonna do is just the simple one we've already done, the bodyweight squat. Now. You can add a little bit of an extra twist in. If you're able to do pistol squats, you can do those as well. But for me, I haven't been able to do those in a, since my surgery, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do the bodyweight squat. And we're gonna go for 12 to 15. I'm aiming for 15. There's one, two, nice and slow on the way down. Three, four, Five, just like that. Six, seven, eight, nine, six more to go. 10, 11, 12, three more. We're almost there. 13, 14, last one, 15, booyah. So there it is, we'll just 
Give a little shaking of the legs, side and front and back swings. Really useful here is to loosen everything up after a challenging exercise. Bulgarian split squats are quite, free, quite, quite challenging. And then adding in some squats after that, it's a lot. So you can go for a walk as a cool down. If you're, you know, in an apartment building, it's always nice to get outside. So you can get a little walk in, but that is a 10 minute home worker. You can do it with no equipment and it's going to target the lower body. Let me know in the comments if you have any other requests for workouts and I'll see you in the next video.